Lady of Mount Carmel, well known to be the patroness of Chile and perhaps Spain as well, is very well venerated by the Carmelite, as they see uh, a lady in, on the Mount Carmel. And for the Carmelite, the spiritual journey is like climbing up a mountain. And for some of us, and many of us have climbed uh, Mount Ego, not Mount Carmel, it will be a bit like that experience. It's quite a challenge, right? So I'll start off with something interesting with Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Uh, a miracle that is attributed to her, right? In um, 1894, in a district called Palmi in Italy, she, uh, she was used to be uh, um, assessed the statue of Our Lady of Mount Carmel on the 16th of November, but 17 days preceding the uh, procession, people had noticed that um, her eyes are moving and the, the color of the face uh, changed. And it was so um, obvious that even the, uh, uh, the, uh, the reporters and it was all, was all out in the news. So, uh, people didn't know, so they just carried out the, uh, uh, the procession on the 16th of November. But what happened was that on the 16th of November on that year, a huge, massive earthquake, the, the, the city of Palmi. And Palmi was the epicenter of the earthquake. This is very useful for us, I think. And there were 1,500. Um, people, inhabitants of that city, and it destroyed most of the old houses in that city. It was so big, massive, and guess how many people died? Only nine people died. And what happened was that everyone was outside the house watching the procession of a Lady of Mount Carmel. So, otherwise, if people were at home, most people would have died because of the earthquake. Maybe we should venerate a Lady of Mount Carmel too here because we have a lot of earthquakes in Flores, in Mount Meriel. The other day we had an earthquake. This was shaking. It was quite scary, right? So, a Lady of Mount Carmel is known to, is venerated by the Carmelite because of her interior life, right, because of her contemplation. She is the ultimate um, image and model of her virtue, uh, particularly in her contemplation inside her and because she's always prayerful and she's always close to, she's the closest to her son, Jesus, and um, they the Carmelite model themselves uh, to the Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And we too, as uh, missionaries of God's love, we too aspire to have a contemplation. That's why we have adoration every morning. And um, you can see on this reading, right, it says, who is, who is my mother, who is my brother? Uh, who are my brothers? And Jesus, Jesus doesn't always refer to Mary. Um, but she, um, Jesus referred to that those who are his family, who, those are, are the ones who are close to Jesus physically in the way of being close to, for us, the, the sacrament, and also interiorly in terms of sitting down uh, under his feet and listening to Jesus just like Mary. And Mary in uh, the wedding of Cana points to Jesus, to the servant, do what he tells you, right? So we too want to aspire to have a, a 
good interior life, a good contemplation, so that miracles will happen too. It's not the earthquake, physical earthquake, but sometimes your interior life can have an earthquake as well. Huh? When things doesn't go according to what you wished, and an earthquake can happen, but you want your interior life to be as calm, even though an earthquake may happen as well, because we can uh, imitate um, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, who is always close to <coughs> her son Jesus, listening to him and doing what he tells us. And may his name be ever praised. Amen.